Welcome to the chemistry department. I am Dr. Sisi Kuka of the chemistry department. Sisi Kuka, a PhD organic chemist, and I'm trying. I'm going to take you around our lab, our laboratory facilities. Some of them are open. Some of them are closed because some of the personnel are not around. This is the laboratory for undergraduates. Uh, one of the two laboratories for the undergraduates. Uh, the other is inaccessible. And that same lab is about the same size as this one. These are the film covers as you can see, and these are the forms in which the students sit on in order to do their work, their lab work. This is the balance room. Where they weigh samples, as you can see, most of these equipment are not working. This is the departmental library. Unfortunately, it is locked. Uh, the personnel are not around. Uh, this is the lecture rooms. As you can see, we are still using the old fashioned blackboard. That needs to be improved. Yeah. This is the lecture room. You can stand here, the chemistry, the physical chemistry laboratory. I do not have access to it. Unfortunately, I don't have the key to it. Let's see. Let's move on. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the other building. Chemistry building. But the ground floor is filled up only by the chemistry top floors uh, offices and also which is utilized by um, other departments like the registry. This is the other laboratory which I do not have access to. As you can see it is locked so there is not much one can do. This is a little research lab. In fact this is where my office is. I showed Dr. Kesh this So, that's the other place. The 
to be with their offices. Yes, um, as you can see, there is a dearth of equipment here in order to do any meaningful work in this place. We need basic equipment as water steam baths, uh, desiccators, wind balances, whether the usual manual or electronic, thermometers, manual as well as electronic thermometers, vacuum pumps, vacuum line, an IR spectro, spectrophotometer, a UV spectrophotometer, uh, yeah, an NMR spectro, spectrometer that at least will have capabilities not only for hydrogen but for carbon as well. And the NMR could be a portable type or standing type, mass spectrometer, portable or standing type, and where possible, uh, a GC mass spec. Equipment you should have not so high maintenance costs will be most welcome because once in possession of this equipment, the maintaining it has to be uh, is a must. Hence, the, the, the imperative to have equipment whose maintenance costs are not so high. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you very much for carrying out this task, and uh, I hope the Cash Foundation will do the best they could to assist us in our endeavors to upgrade science within the university. Thanks again.